and of course this unit has an ensuite bathroom. But here again, a couple of seats, placed just right. They're going to give your guests a little privacy and prevent you from seeing something you really don't want to. Okay, as you can see, I've put up some classical pieces of art here and instead of all the ads. Because you don't need people selling this stuff in your own home. <laughs> Unless it's on TV, which I fully support. I also recommend you keep a couple of these chrome poles just in case an exotic dancer drops by. Who am I kidding? Turn them into pole lamps. Of course, the key to the whole design is to have the bus door line up with the house door. It makes them separate yet together. Kind of like Canada and Quebec. <laughs> I guess that makes these French doors. Huh? <laughs> oh, here's another bonus. Your dog can let himself out. And the dining area is really spectacular. Well, maybe not spectacular. Rectangular, probably a better word. Here again, we just move a bus seat here or there. Line them up just so. Throw a folding table into the center of the configuration. And suddenly, it's not just a dining table. It's a booth. <laughs> and the nice thing about eating here, you don't have to shout yourself hoarse calling everybody to dinner. <laughs> Next stop, supper. <laughs> but you got to admit, this prefab edition has a lot of attractive features. So remember, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. And here's the best part. If you have guests arrive who aren't particularly welcome, you just hit the gas and turn this addition into a subtraction.